Right, welcome back. Welcome back to another Vauxhall Astra. Right, so another Vauxhall Astra. This one is a report of clutch pedal dropping. Um, driven the car plenty of times from its come in to try and experience the fault. Um, and I did not experience the pedal dropping. However, when you looked at the, the clutch bottle, the clutch and brake fluid bottle, it was about halfway down, so... Um, as you can see, so our frame is off the car now. We have cracked on a fair old bit. Um, we have lots to do, lots of gearboxes on uh, this week. So I'm not sure if maybe this is fluid that I've been spraying or it's maybe clutch fluid. Um, but that was wet the other day when I started it. Um, so I think it might be clutch fluid. So you can see we've got the pipes off. Right, I've got a little brake nipple cover on there, just keeping the fluid in. I've taken the bolts off the top. Um, I've slackened the engine mounting bolts as well. I need to move this now because it's in the road. Um, bit heavy, but I'll need, to, I'll need to manage. So we've got the starter motor to disconnect. You can see the gear cables are disconnected as well. Um, ECU box and all that's kind of moved. The air filter's over the other side, so we don't need to touch that. So you can see that something we did a wee while back as well. Nice and dry, it's all good in the hood. So that's good, good, good. So no leaks there to report. Oh, it does look like there's something happening further above. Right, killing the gang. Yeah, something all day. To be honest with you, I wouldn't bother touching that because that's a crank. That's an engine out job, if that is what it's looking. So we'll leave that alone just now. Right, so we have a couple more bell housing bolts and engine mount. And obviously, I have the starter motor bolts now. I think there's a little bracket on the back there. See it? All right, but I don't think we'll need to touch that. I'm hoping that we just need to take out the two bolts. Now, one stud will like that. So, one nut and then one bolt. Don't, don't like that idea, to be honest with you. And hopefully, that's all it is. So, I might well just take that bracket off just to see what's going on. There you go. All right, we'll come back. Right, so the gearbox is there. I thought it was going to be wet in there. Let's do it. So, oh, let's not change this and see my arms. Don't do that, don't fall over. Well, go gently. There we go, go nice and gently. So, we need to change all of this now. Could just be that this is drawing air in. So, we need to change that. And yeah, we need to get this clutch whipped off. And take it to there, really. Ah, uh, it's a drill mass, but no vibrations. So I think I can just leave that as is, change the clutch, and should be okay to fly out. Okay, so we've got a new sleeve bit. You can see we have fitted it on, right? But fitted it on. I couldn't get this bit, basically this goes in through the gearbox, goes on there, right, but I could just pull that back off, even with that horseshoe clip there down, I could just pull it right back off. So that bit goes inside the gearbox, right, goes into there, and then that stops that pipe from wiggling about inside the gearbox. Right, so we need that bit, that's an original piece for the car, which is interesting, right, because it's a sax clutch, right, I'll take these over and show these. So, this is the box as well, right, so we've got a blue point one, because this part's I think more expensive than the actual clutch as well, right? So PSA is now Peugeot, right? So PSA is the Peugeot group. Um, this is a Vauxhall car, which now Peugeot group own Vauxhall. So this clutch here, right? You can see it on there. Sax, right? So that's the original clutch for it. Right? GM, it's in the car. There are new ones on the car and fitted. That's all good. That's no issues there. And I believe the only issue we're having now is because we're trying to put an aftermarket cylinder on, so just to try and save a bit of money. However, uh, I need to find my pipe now. There's my old pipe. Hold on. Oh, right. So there's my old pipe there. There's obviously my new pipe here. We've read all these instructions. Do not depress. Tell you bloody 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 all the things to do. So you can see there that piece. So I've been trying to figure this out for a Saturday. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So and you could take it apart and fit, but you can see there clearly. Shorter. Anyway, that's him phoning back. Right, so the guy on the phone, absolutely adamant, man. Adamant, right, that this is the right one. So, so even if I put that right up to there, it's still too short because there's this bit here, right, that wee channel, 
is where my clip's got to go. So, I mean, that would need to go up to there for that to be right. So, do we need to really modify it? I just don't think we should go up and modify it, man. You know what I mean? So, they're going to send me another one in case this has been made wrong or something. But that would honestly need to go up to there. It's either that or people are putting it back together and they're throwing away this. Because I can get that bit to go into there, minus that bit. So is that what they're doing? Just throwing that away. The people that are saying that this is definitely 100% the right part. So if we had to line them up like that, we can see they're nowhere near. Nowhere near the O-rings actually where the channel would be. Interesting stuff, so there's another one of these coming tomorrow. Right, so we've got the sax one there, and that is the other part which we have fitted as well. So it's a modified one of these, it calls it an elbow, um, but we fitted that. That one was the same as the one we had, which is two of them, and there are those blue boxes, blue print ones, which we're going to send back now. But we're going to use that, but I've got that anyway, just in case that modified part is for the old type of pipe. But this sax one, right. When you lined up the pipe ends to the original one, they looked the same length, so I believe that is the correct one. So I am just went ahead and fitted that, and I fitted this, and I can't pull it back off. Right. Another one I can just pull off quite easy, so that's how you bleed it there, So and that's where the hydraulic line goes in there. So we'll get the gearbox fitted back in, and then hopefully that's it all good in the hood. Box all Astra, see all the subframe still lying there with the steering rack. Um, I've got the gearbox back in, uh, it's got the sax slave cylinder on it, um, that's a modified pipe fitting, elbow they call it, so oh that's just still off at the minute, to be honest with you I'm maybe going to need to take that pipe back off actually because I think that's on the wrong side of it, so damn you, so we'll do that right now. Right so no drama, let's move that pipe, that bolt's down, eh uh, sorry, cable moved the pipe over onto the right side but and uh, that bolts down onto there, there's another one up that goes into the belt housing so we've got a load more to do obviously you can see ECU still out um we've got gear cables put back on subframe aye quite a lot but at least we know we've got a working clutch pedal um no pipes have flown off it um so at the minute the clutch pedal seems to be good so we'll need to get the rest of the gear boxing back in and make sure everything's all good oh the big astra so been a bit of a mission with the parts actually, I'll show you some, I think I've been through it, so that's this original one, right, which we elected to go with the sax, right, because when we put the sax, well it's a sax clutch, which is a Peugeot clutch, well, <laughs> Vauxhall's now owned by Peugeot, so the parts now come with PSA on the box, right, rather than GM, um, but when we opened up the clutch, which is in the video filmed it as well, I'm sure, um, it's actually sax that make the clutch for Vauxhall or Peugeot Group, whoever, um, and then we went to fit one of those blueprint ones, there's two of them in there now, two of the exact same one, eh? and uh, I says, no, nah, this is shorter. 100%. I didn't know it was shorter until we all put it all together. Um, thankfully, we didn't put the gearbox back in. <laughs> I tried, I made sure I put the elbow on first, and thank God I did, uh, because I would have put the box in and then I would have had to take it back out because of this. Because uh, the one, isn't it, that blueprint one, which is there, just isn't compatible. So that sax one there, if you've ever done one, guys, uh, that's the part number there. So I've already had, I'll pause a sec. So, sorry, I was talking to myself. You see, I've just put it in the gear there. Um, I've already had it out of run, so. I'll just check that there's no, no nothing severely leaking out of it. <laughs> uh, I know I found any leaks on the car originally, so hopefully we'll not get any now. So that's my only concern is, is uh, that I've put this modified bit on it, and I don't know if we had to, so I've kept the... I really don't know, to be honest with you, obviously I don't look for Vauxhall, so I'm going to pause here. Yeah, so I sprayed all this down with breaking clutch fluid, and I don't see anything, no. Yeah, sorry, I sprayed all the clutch fluid with uh, brake fluid, obviously we're bleeding, so there's wee bits and pieces of dripping out and stuff like that, you know, we do have the, the vacuum bleeder there, but we had to do a bit of both, we had to do a bit of manual bleeding and a bit of vacuum bleeding to get it right. Um, just check the level, level's good, so, yeah, no big puddles of oil, so, all good, gearbox, drive shaft seals look good, so, yeah. I'll need to do a bit of further driving on it and just I've only had it once in the block I've actually got the cap stuff to put on so I'll need to give it a bit further portion and see but these little Vauxhall Astras 
four in the one week, uh, all 2016 plates, man. So it kind of, it's sad to say, but it's, it's speaking its own story, that. Um, you know, we get a, a, a varied bunch of cars in. I mean, we've got a, a Volkswagen up for a clutch. We've got a Polo for a clutch. And to be honest, there is a lot of filming missed on this car. Um, and it's because uh, basically the parts that came were wrong. And uh, as a function, functioning garage, this these these cars um, are the old project cars. I mean, the Honda up the back now, these project cars, but they're all uh, it's a working garage. So um, we need to do what we need to do to, to, to pay the bills, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, keep the place ticking over, keep the customers happy. And uh, obviously, it's hard doing it all, uh, but you got to do it. I've got my wife help me, so that's that's a bonus. So the wife helps us, uh, you know, do the books and phone the customers and loads of bits. So, but we really could be doing our mechanic now. I think um, we really could. But getting mechanics in the UK, I don't know what it's like. Um, you know, throughout the world, to be honest with you, um, what other countries are like. But the level of technician, for what I've seen working in the main dealers and stuff, is. Is uh, suffering a wee bit at the minute, to be honest. So hopefully that will change in the future. So I'm going to go and now do a health check on a Vauxhall Corsa. We'll get the Peugeot off the lift. We'll give this one more portion around the block, and we'll see how she goes. Basically, for there, that's better. Right, so just one more wee note on that. So that's the little modified part. So obviously I touched on it before. GM, you can see that there, General Motors, which is, was the Vauxhall group before the Peugeot group taking it over. Uh, but yeah, it says LUK, so LUK obviously manufactured that, but GM have stuck their sticker on it, and it's got a sax clutch in it, so it's a bit of a mixed bag in the, the Vauxhall Astra uh, transmission side, but hey ho, so I'm going to keep a hold of this because, you know, I don't believe there's anything wrong with that, so I'll keep a hold of it um, and see, just in case, just in case.